It's too early to find out. It's too early. You guys, my nights have been unsettled for the past couple of days. Not because of my insomnia, but because I watched the hierarchy. Okay, welcome back to my channel different setup different everything is different today's video we're going to be talking about hierarchy this seven episode netflix k-drama show that has been everywhere i think right now it's ranked at number two in nigeria if you wish to still watch like you want to still go back and watch it i'm going to just give like a spoiler free um introduction general overview and then after that we're going to dive deep into the episodes like from one till the ending i don't know you guys is the adrenaline from my ABA exam basically k-drama should be synonymous to unrealistic that's just that's just a rule of some if you're going to watch k-drama like just know that and you know peace i don't make the rules that's just how it is so it's like a high school they have like the bunch of wealthy wealthy kids in this school but then like there's the wealthy there's the wealthiest of the wealthy figure you know i'm saying right and there are like these four friends something like that and then inside the four friends there's like the wealthiest of the wealthiest now kaha that i'm talking about here is not a wealthy person he's just like a kid that comes into the school on scholarship because there's an open spot but meanwhile what caused the open spot is unknown to him or is portrayed to the other students in the school that is unknown to him but he the scholarship student actually knows what happened because he's related to the reason why there is an open spot in the school for a scholarship student so basically there's discrimination in the school because um you have um the rich children the wealthiest of the wealthiest of the elites of people that will inherit all the conglomerate companies in south korea and then you have like the scholarship students that some regular high schools that have been brought into the elite school just because they were like good great students from like their regular high schools and stuff it starts off trying to give the glory type revenge but i feel like the first scenes looks like what happened in this um show what do you call it oh my god i'm literally going to search it up i swear if i see it i'm going to be so true beauty the show starts with a high school student from this elite school running and stuff and he gets like smashed by a car and the whole show just like goes to tell all the events and led to his death people that were involved and as the show goes on you just like kind of see that people that you thought were involved were not the ones that were that actually killed him and it's just a bunch of like romantic and unromantic things so yeah that's general overview it has the regular high school like girls being obsessed with guys and guys being like the main character and being seen as like the all in all of like if you're with this guy like your high school career is already established friendship groups that will break and be made throughout the show as it goes on would i recommend this to anybody i mean it's not terrible like if you're less busy obviously you can watch it like no one is holding you but i feel like it's going to be reasonably okay if you don't if you haven't watched a lot of k-dramas before and you're just like diving into k-dramas now or like you just watch like an intermediate level of k-dramas if you're like me and you've watched a shit ton of k-dramas it's going to seem very mid you would see the wannabes that he's trying to be as you watch it you see concepts of other k-dramas that are really popular that i feel like they were trying to be like but they missed the mark like they were trying to be so much that they didn't even hit one point streaky that kind of thing i don't know i'll rate it like a six six point five over ten yeah he to point out that kind of gave me the eek also was the unnecessary western influences that it felt like i was watching exo kitty that type of vibe and it's like this is a k-drama acted by south koreans in south korea for south koreans and the rest of the whole world so i don't know why he's giving american wannabe k-drama but if i just wanted to point that out i would like to point out the fact that i think the intro was nice Sha. like the intro of the 
series was nice episode one starts with the high school students running from god knows what and he's calling he's on the phone or he tries to get on the phone and he's calling someone and he's talking and then he like runs into the road and he gets run over by a car that's the kind of like suspense field intro of first scene that we got next up we have the introduction of the school I could just tell from the montage of the school and the eliteness and the whole vibe that it was going to be a boys before flowers type she's like trying to introduce the scholarship student oh sorry she wasn't the one talking i think she was the the scholarship student that was talking and he was trying to introduce himself as he was told to three guys come walking in and then you can tell one is the leader and then two are like minions the whole school is just like I feel like they're all holding their breath. So the scholarship student finishes his introduction and the principal goes on and on about how they have to imbibe by the Jason not Jason Jushin tradition or whatnot of noblesse oblige or something like that. <laughs> they just kept on emphasizing the whole theme of this is going to be a very hierarchical kid drama with bully. Kangha is approached by what's her name? I think Hera. You can obviously tell that she doesn't have pure or good intentions as she approaches um Kangha and she's just trying to like get to talk to him so that she can like set straps because like they just have basically the whole show they have fun seasoned scholarship students along the lines of this whole bullying, the four rich kids. I mean now there are three, like we st- we just have three for now, but we get to know later on we get to know that there is another girl and we get to know that she was or is the partner to like the pa- the most powerful guy that's the one in the friend group you get what i'm saying and she comes back and you can tell that the other girl in the friend group is like not a true friend look back they're all friends they are four best friends the two girls are also best friends and the two guys are kind of also best friends she keeps on teasing rihanna it comes off as a joke where you can tell she's being serious that like, oh if um jane doesn't come back or oh, they can be a thing type of fast forward jane comes back the first thing she gets picked up by her best friend that is trying to steal her man behind her back they're in this whole group chat they ask to meet and then they come to hang out at the car racing whatever at the track and the first thing she says is let's make a bet if you win the first race in what you have to grant me a wish everything is still going like fast paced and then rian and jane who are the couples or couples that are not talking now they have this race and they go what over they go like i don't know how many laps i don't think he let her win but like she was taking it too serious and like he just kind of calmed down and then after the race is done he's like oh my god like why are you being so intense and then she's like she doesn't care she won the race he has to grant her her wish and then what's her wish hey let's go come here i mean i kind of saw it coming because like she was being very iffy and then the guy keeps on demanding oh my god and so the reason oh i missed a very important part so you know when when the babe came back like when jane came back we got to see her family ish kind of they were having um i think lunch they were having lunch with another family like another wealthy family i think the dad or the mom of the other wealthy family was commenting on how beautiful she is and stuff and we're teasing each other about how they think she takes after her dad or her mom and then the mom turns and she's like oh she most definitely takes after her dad and like it was kind of unnecessary it seemed weird so we get to see her family dynamics which means that her father is her father but her mother is her stepmom who has another son but basically my point is that how kangha and jane met is at the dinner that she was having with her family and the other wealthy family and kangha was there like working part-time as like a 
pian a pianist or something like that he was sharp playing in like an um orchestra group she wasn't drinking she was like smoking or vaping or something like that sure she sees kanka there but he goes to meet her and i think he offers to help her with something and she says no as he's about to leave she says she needs his sheds and then he's like oh i can't i can't walk around shirtless she's like that's the only thing that he can help her with at this point we don't know if he knew sorry that she was also in his school we don't really know he finally gives his sheds to her after this whole drama with jay and her family and her ex-boyfriend now because she has told him that she wants to break up she actually resumes school kanka is trying to be oblivious to the fact that she's in the hierarchy of the rich people and he's trying to like just be like oh hi how far and then she like like we're not made like she like shows him and stuff and then i think she does a couple of other things that are obvious that he doesn't know his place in the school and then they have this association of scholarship students that tell you what to do if not if you basically if you do something wrong they will take it out on all the scholarship students so they'll each have to control each other there's a leader right the senior the upper class man he's telling him that the kid that opened up his spots for him didn't listen to him so he died and by the way he did mention that the kid that died was actually killed by rian and that is actually what jolted and triggered and stimulated him to go and start offending or upsetting rian you can obviously see he's trying to provoke rian hera the party queen the betrayer backstabber friend that's trying to steal her friend's man organizes a party and she invites rian and rian actually not rian sorry she invites kanka and kanka actually comes they just play a bunch of drunk games and just drinking and dancing and by the way we still kind of have in mind that this is a high school their outfits the aura is a little bit out of place but hopefully they redeem themselves they did not and then they start playing truth or dare it gets to a bunch of random people and then finally it gets to kanka and they dare him to go and kiss someone or not to kiss any of the girls there and then he turns and he's looking at all the girls and like all the girls there i think they were not scholarship girls so like him moving to somebody was like something that would be very audacious she gets and it's like <gasps> you have the mind to do that meanwhile that party hera advised rian rian was also throwing jay in like a surprise apology let's get back together because he was just been trying to like get to her and like apologize which we know is not the case because you can obviously tell that Hera is trying to make Rian look stupid and she knows that Jane isn't someone that would be impressed by the kind of things that she's advising Rian to do. When Kanga came into the party, he actually saw Jane and where she went to. So when they asked him to do the dare, he literally looked at all the girls in the circle of where they were doing the truth or dare and like stood up and they were like, oh my god, this guy already has a baby in mind and stuff. He stands up and he walks to the venue where jane is he enters the room of the whole balloon and surprises and flowers and he walks up to jane and he kisses her and jane actually kisses him back and that's how episode one ends now episode two is there off as like a, a bedroom scene of like a guy and a girl and then you think it is kanga and jane and i was like oh my god this gets so spicy Do you know what's mad i just realized that like the, the girl and the guy like the woman was the teacher like i feel like the story could slow down a little bit more i don't know what sense but i just feel like i don't know something feels like it's like the pacing is not it's not being paced the guy in the bedroom was wujin who is one of the guys in the four you know how we have f4 and it was four guys this one is f4 boys two guys and two girls so the second guy in the f4 of hierarchy is wujin and he's the guy we see in the beginning of episode two you know how like basically when they were all when they all stayed in school and resumed and they were like having their get together as the group of three friends before jane came back wujin was always acting absent and always texting and stuff and then hera was asking rian oh do you think wujin is dating and he's like nah like i don't know like i don't think so turns out he is actually he's dating his teacher rian being the main character 
makes like it kind of puts him on the spot to be likable but you guys Bujin is so attractive oh my god i feel like among all the guys because i don't like kanga even from crash course in romance i don't like him but Bujin's role you know those supporting characters that are like attractive and it's like why are they not the main character now fast forward to school now this is the first day of school i think after the whole kanka kissing jane i can tell the school is bubbling because everyone knows and everyone is like scared for kanga's life because everyone feels not everyone knows kind of that rian or the other scholarship guy died because he pissed off rian the first thing that took kanga by surprise is when they were trying to like beat him up in his class like literally you can tell they were trying to like they were not they were trying they were physically assaulting the teacher who is the girlfriend of Wujin walks in and she's like what's going on here and like everywhere is quiet and then she's like oh back to your class and that's all she says and kanga is like Kanga is still trying to build his rapport with Jane. He's being so friendly. He's trying to be there when she needs him. And Jane is like, I don't like you. Just because I kissed you back doesn't mean I like you. I'm just trying to do you the favor of returning your shirt. Not returning. I'm just trying to return the favor of you lending me your shirt the other day at my house. In a way, I also think I haven't finished understanding. You know how you have to watch a series a couple of times to understand everything that, like all the tiny bits of information that they puts in there to like get the whole picture i feel like i haven't understood that just because i've watched it like once but this review is obviously based off the ones that have watched it so bear with me anyways rian is going through his breakup he's reminiscing past good memory wujin and jane meet up randomly and they both feel like they're hiding something because actually wujin doesn't tell his friend his friends that he's dating the teacher. You get out on it? More? My motor is already in the woods, and there. Don't you come down and move up, son? I'll tell you. Chaka, somewhere along the line in episode two they go for this field trip the teachers are like talking and Eugene was trying to get his babe to come out from the teacher gathering so the key thing in this story of Eugene trying to spend time with his girlfriend is that as they walk by to Eugene's vacation home too that is the field trip residence the teacher sees kanka walking with jane into jane's vacation home the tv is on they are seated beside each other kanga is falling asleep which seems very fake like you can tell he's just trying to be touchy with jane but he falls out he's not he doesn't fall he's like dozing off now this is a very crucial part you guys i remember this scene so much you people eh you are liars you're telling me that it took how many minutes does it take for the teacher girlfriend to tell her guy and then the guy called rian and then rian called the principal and then the principal came with her entourage i tell you that it took that much time for this guy to move to jane bro the principal finally comes and they catch kanga in jane's residence and they presume not presume because Kang rian is the person that called the principal to jane's residence they conclude that kanga broke into jane's house moving on the field trip ends. kanga is in front of a panel they're trying to suspend him as they expel him she grabs kanga she literally meets rihanna at the door <laughs> And that's how we know that tension was about to start. Prior to the whole panel of trying to punish Kanga, Hera on her own side was trying to convince Rian, whom she likes, we know now that she likes, she convinces Rian to have a fake relationship with her so that it will make basically she's trying to tell Rian that they're all friends she's trying to help him that if he fakes a relationship with her it's going to make Jane jealous and then she would see what she's missing and then she'll come back to him anyways news has now gone around the school that Jane is dating Kangha and now Kangha has become the new prince in the school because the queen is dating him because he can't be the king because Rian is obviously still the king of the school they start treating him with more respect because now 
he has the queen on his side hera is happy that she's in her relationship her fake relationship which we all know is real for her and is a stunt for rian jane is actually quite open about her relationship with kanka in school but i feel like jane is bothered by the fact that there are so many similarities between kanka and kang in her who is the kid that died and even from the bracelets he wears from the things he says when he says it that's one of the reasons why she kind of threw herself into like fake dating kanka because she wanted to know more and stuff it's too early to find out it's too early <laughs> As the episode goes, Kanga and Jane go on dates like things, activities, and you all kind of get to know each other a little bit more. And I think the climax of episode three was the parent teacher dance or something. It was like a PTA type thing, but it was this whole because they are wealthy. I don't know. It was like this whole ballroom dance event. It looked like launching of a company, guys. It was so damn serious. It was unnecessary. Rian's grandparents are the contributors and founders of the school that they are in. That's the Joshin School. The reason why Jane is in the school is because there was a rumor about the two companies beefing. That's Rian's family's company and Jane's family's company. So her father sent jane to come to the school so like to seem like they are actually not beefy and they have clothes tricked so the two companies actually do not like each other like they don't involve actually their enemies because they have different business goals or whatever so them actually dating they should not have dated that's the point both parents didn't know they were dating and it was like it it was a bomb it was what's the word guy what's the word the chairman that the father of jane wants her to marry his son says something about oh he heard a rumor of rian and jane being a couple or something i don't know she shall just chipped it in there and you can obviously tell by how both parents reacted that they would not want their children to be romantically involved at all hera asks jane to help her dad talk to her own father to help him in his business but like jane refused so hera was so annoyed that jane who's meant to be her friend like disrespected her father and was like so insulting and annoying for her so she goes and she introduces kanga as jane's boyfriend <laughs> Jane finally meets the son of the man that she's meant to go to New York with. Something reminds her of something. And then she like throws up and faints at the dinner. After the whole dinner stuff with the chairman's family, Jane's father keeps her locked up in a vacation house so that she, from there she just go to New York with the man's son because everything was planned, everything was concluded. And then that episode, Jane confesses something to Kanka. <laughs> At the same time, Rian finds out that Kang Ina is Kanga's twin brother. He rushes to come look for Jane and she's like trying to protect her. And then they kind of now tell us the story of how Jane and Kang Ina, how they met. And they kind of make sense now how they got to be friends and how that friendship or relationship allegedly led to his death. Now the ascension between Jane and Kanga because Kanga has now opened up to Jane. This is my brother. I came here to look for answers to the question how he died. You can basically see that he kind of likes Jane now because why is he going on and on about why he came to the school and he's literally playing all his cards. Like he has nothing left to himself. There wasn't anything that built up for us to say that, oh, this is like how this situation that came so we just felt like a couple of things happened and then boom he likes her now now the whole school knows that kanga is kangina's twin brother now they want to expel him because it's making everyone feel unsettled seeing a dead kid's twin brother in the school and that's their reason but then kangina records the conversation and he has an upper hand with the principal because now the principal cannot expel him because he has something on her for the effect like the thing that he had on her was just too it was too small 
And then meanwhile, all through this whole time, Jane has been getting threats which are related to her secrets, which now we know that it's because she was pregnant. They kept on sending her threats because she was never meant to be together with Rian, which makes sense why she couldn't tell Rian and why she eloped to the US and why she didn't talk to him throughout the summer and why she wants to break up without an explanation and why she can't tell anybody about it and why she told Kang in hand about it, but now Kangina is dead. And she feels terrible that she caused Kanginan's death and she was confiding in Kanginan. And everything kind of just makes sense as to how everybody is involved at this point. It's making sense. I feel like this is where the drama starts to lack stuff. Like, it just feels like it's just a bunch of characters acting out their roles. But it doesn't feel like they have purpose. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. The revenge starts to happen. They have this very awkward, mediocre revenge. Jane is like, oh, she can't let Rian be hurt because if Rian is hurt, then she's hurt because Rian is her stable place and that's how they've grown up. They didn't just get so mixed up. Human beings are scary. Was tell me why Eugene is literally the one that went to tell Jane's father, the chairman. And now Ryan is coming crying and he's acting like he doesn't even know anything. Is it even funny? Cause like you guys the conclusion is that it didn't end well. At least in my own humble opinion. It had the potential to like be so much more. The ending wasn't terrible, but it just was wasted because instead of on good footing instead of good storyline but then you just ended off basic i just completed eight sorry seven episodes a little bit of tears here and there i thought it ended well and stuff i don't know wow i just went through like five stages of grief right now the whole the beginning and the middle was like upbeat suspense and then the ending was just blah like happy ending it would have been a promising thriller with power dynamics and like revengeful high school experience but even the food they ate i barely saw like spicy korean food you guys let's have an argument let's have a heated argument about this in the comment section i want to see everyone's thoughts i want to see what you could think of this because i actually thought it was good but now that i sit down to process it I just realizing the potential that it has to have been something better comment down below subscribe to my channel who knows i might do more of this thank you for coming to my aggravated rant on the hierarchy i hope to see you same time same place on this channel next time bye